But, uh, <clears throat> all right, here's two little fight stories and shit. One in halls and, and one, in, one in camp. First one in the halls and shit. I'm in G&H. And Silmar and shit and Barry J. It's fucking... Tiny Crease and some nigga from Inglewood families and shit. Tiny Crease from East Coast. So anyway, that nigga was a rider too. That nigga was a motherfucker rider. But anyway, he was a little nigga too. He was, I mean, he wasn't too little, but he was a young little nigga and shit. But he was, anyway, it was a nigga from Inglewood families. A nigga from Inglewood family was kind of a weirdo and shit though. Fucking. Like he used to walk. Like he used to walk like he had a fucking stick up his ass or something. Like I see, he used to just walk like, like on some weird. Like, a, like yo, what's wrong with this nigga? Anyway, I ain't asking him nothing. But anyways, fuck him. We coming in this after school movement and shit one day. The niggas exchange words. Fuck him. They just get the boo bop right in the middle of the hallway. Da, 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 da. And we had a crazy ass old staff. <laughs> the staff in the halls and shit and can't. The motherfuckers is crazy. So dude let him, the staff let him get out. He's standing there like this, like a referee. He watching them. And I'm fucking, I'm, I'm at my door. And these niggas, they start coming towards my door. I close my door and shit. Everyone else go to their room and shit. He like, lock it down, lock it down, lock it down. So he go to their room. But he letting them squabble up. They going at it too. Bah, 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 bah. They just, Crease, Crease, Tiny Crease was winning that one though. He was giving it dude. Had him like, had his shit like this. And he was boom, 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 boom. These niggas fall into my door. Knock my door open and shit. Push them niggas, <laughs> I push both of them niggas out, out of my door. And the fucking, the staff, he still on some referee shit. Like, ah. Like, he's like, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Then fucking, so they, they back in the hallway, they still going at it though. Mm, mm. Fucking, Priest giving it to dude and the staff just like, all right, that's that's enough. So he broke it up. But it was like a nice little, I'd say like a nice little minute fight. Like a legit minute. But it was just a trip. Like, so I'm just like, yo, the staff just, he's right there just like, <laughs> he got his hands on his knees and shit, like refereeing and shit. Like, hey, like, nigga, fuck it. But anyways, oh no, he was second, he go to second fight. All right, second fight in Camp Kilpatrick. This shit tripped me out. Because I'm working laundry. I think I'm in, I'm in beat arm and it's football season. So it was a, every, everyone throughout the fucking L.A. County system, this big as fuck, was sent there. So the tongue and homie, the tongue and homie and shit, right? He likes, he's 16, but he's a big ass kid. He likes 6'2", like 260. 270, something like that. He anywhere between like 250 and 270. Like, he's a big ass motherfucker. He might have been like 6'2, 6'3. But like only like 16 years old. So, anyways, he tonguing. The niggas is big. They're like Samoans. The niggas is big. They eat. Anyways, I'm working laundry. One day he just come holler at me like, yo, I need I need to beat up this this uh this 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 Mexican nigga real quick. Cause he, I don't even think he was an essay. He was like a paisa. Cause he didn't barely speak no English. So and the dude, I'm like, all right, bro. Who, like, who is it? He showed me who dude was. Dude, was like, he was a little motherfucker. I'm like, nah, man, nah. He's like, nah, yeah, dude, want to go with it. So dude, come over. I call him over and shit. I'm like, yo, you want to get out with this motherfucker? He's like, yeah, fuck that motherfucker. We need to get out. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Something in the back of my head was like, Matt, don't let him do it. But I'm like, fuck it, I ain't gonna stop this shit. 
<laughs> so fuck yeah. Later on, no, nah, no, nah, nah, that shit. I was actually in the morning. So, fucking, we go to breakfast. We go, they go to school movement. Them niggas, we stay back on dorm crew. They stay back. Because if you needed to get down in camp, there was ways you go about it. You couldn't just go rush a nigga like in the halls or shit. Nah, because we're going to all get put on fucking execution style on our bed and shit and be shut down. Our program going to shut down. So, nah, you got to go sneak fight. So that's where you go back to the laundry room or you duck behind it in between the school, uh, the bungalows or something, or you just find somewhere to cut to go get down at. But it's always like some planned out shit. All right, so anyways, dorm crew. And dorm crew was, was like a few motherfuckers, like six, seven people, uh, six, seven uh, kids that would stay back. And sweep and mop the dorm, clean the dorm, the, the, the head and the floors and shit like that. So I was on dorm crew. Plus I was the laundry. I ran the laundry. So fucking told both them niggas stay back on dorm crew. Uh, Cause it really ain't no stab. The stab be kicking their feet up at the control center and shit, not paying attention. So fucking. They stay back on dorm crew, and I tell dude again, like, man, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? To little pies, I like, yo, you sure you want to do this, homie? He like, yeah, fuck that motherfucker. Cause he was an older dude, was like, had to be like 18, 19, or he used some other, excuse me, someone else's age, and got caught up in the. But anyway, so they go back there. I lock, I lock the door. They see how I live. I'm like, man, y'all ready? And like, yeah, he dude like man, she was like, yeah. Next thing I know, I see the tongue at homie come all the way back here. <laughs> and I'm I'm looking like <laughs> and he he connect. He catch him. Just like that. Boom. Come right and you just catch him. Boom. His shit split open from like right here, from the middle of his nose to like about an inch above his eyebrows. His shit split open, boom, and it went all the way across from both eyebrows. Pop. And blood just went. I was like, oh! I was like, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. I stopped that shit immediately. Like, yo, that's it. That's it. <laughs> like, yo. Now, fuck it. To the home, I tell the tongue home, get the fuck out of here. I grab some old shirts and shit. I grab some shirts. I put it on dude. Fucking shit right here on his forehead and shit, because he's leaking everywhere. That shit was like filling up the whole fucking shirt. Blood is just, this white shirt is turning red. So I'm like, fuck, I grab another one. I told dude, hold that shit on there tight. So fucking, I go get. Bleach and, and floor cleaner. Pour that shit on the floor. Mop that shit up real quick. Because it was blood all over the floor. So I cleaned all that shit up. Fucking. Now I gotta fucking. Because we all gonna get busted on this if we get caught up. So now I gotta fix this shit. Like, damn, I should have never let this shit happen. That's what I get. So, anyways. He got a hold. I'm telling you, his shit is split from right here to right here. And I kind of got, I went and got some tape. I had some tape in the back, some like some duct tape. And I fucking, I grab a whole bunch of either some tissue or like a little, I tore a shirt and I put, I did something and I put like some cloth and like some little tape across. <laughs> All the dude said, dude was like, thanks. Gracias, gracias. <laughs> he fucking, so we bone out dorm crew, everything cleaned up and, uh, Next time I know we coming back. We go to school all day. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing happening. Then we come back on the school movement <laughs> for lunch. And fucking uh, Mr. Gonzalez, the staff, Mr. G was like, hell no, chief. Who the fuck whooped your ass? <laughs> we standing on the basketball court on the blacktop. 
His shit like swelled up like this now. It's like turning black and shit. He it seen like it's like some makeshift bandage across his shit. He took G took his shit off and was like, hell no, go to the nurse. <laughs> he was like, go to the nurse, chief. Go to the nurse. He was like, what well, happened? He was like, I slept. He was like, bull man, get you to go to the nurse, man. Like, you go to Ador after that. He was like, yo, y'all gonna be on lockdown until I figure out who the fuck whooped his ass. <laughs> but I just tripped out on that one. That nigga came with this super light from. Boo! And she just went. I was like, yo! Anyway, that's two little squabbles and shit. 